hello friends welcome back to the channel this is maybe here again with another tutorial in today's video we'll be learning how to make this gorgeous gorgeous green ashoke headband that i have on right here on your screen a lot of you guys have probably seen this on my instagram and on my youtube shorts and i got a couple of requests from us asking me to share how i made it so in today's video we are going to be learning everything about how you can also make this for yourself or for your clients so if you'd be interested in knowing all about this process please make sure you watch this video to the end try not to skip any parts okay also don't forget to like the video liking the video gives me feedback and it also helps the youtube algorithm know that a lot of people love the video and it helps the algorithm also spread my videos to a wider audience finally if you're not subscribed to the channel please subscribe share this video with your friends and family all right guys let's get straight into today's video let's go to make this headband you need your plastic headband of course we are working with this two inch plastic headband you also need your fabric of choice for me i'm working with ashoki feel free to use any fabric you like you also need your cutting tools which are the scissors and your thread snipper all right you also need your soldering iron because I am working with ashoke and we know that I like to use soldering iron to cut my ashoke. You'll also need your glue gun because we'll be doing a bit of gluing in this particular tutorial. The next thing we are going to do is to cut out two pieces of ashoke fabric that are about 50 inches long. Feel free to tweak the length to your own desired length but for me and what I would feel comfortable working with, I decided to do two pieces of fabric that are 50 inches long and for one of the pieces of fabric i removed two inches from the width so the width of this ashoki fabric is about six inches but i reduced the width of the second one to about four inches because after folding i want my fabric to be about four and a half inches wide okay so i decided to make that adjustment feel free to do whatever you like like i said i'm just telling you everything that i did for my own here i already cut out the fabric that i'm going to be using to wrap my headband if you don't know how to wrap headbands i have a tutorial where i share how to wrap a headband neatly i'm going to try to link that video on the screen for you guys so feel free to check it out so you also learn how to wrap a headband i'm not going to be showing you the entire process of me wrapping the headband in this particular video so i decided to also just you know point that out for us so what i'm doing here is after i sewed my fabric along the length you remember how i folded it after you know cutting and all of that i folded sewed on um about half of an inch and now this is me just turning the fabric inside out i hope everything i said makes sense if it doesn't i always advise that we have our fabrics and everything together so we can also practice along with me so as you're watching this video you have your things with you and you're practicing everything that i'm sharing anyway this is me just turning my fabric inside out and right after turning it inside out i'm also going to pull it apart just to make sure that no fabric is hiding inside okay you know with ashoke in particular after you turn it inside out the fabric tends to you know get crinkled up and you have some pieces stuck inside okay so you want to use your fingers to just pull the fabric out and make sure that everything is out and everything is smooth okay so that's what i'm going to go ahead to do real quick and show you guys how i'm also doing it okay i'm not going to skip any parts so i suggest that you also watch the video to the end so you don't miss out any important information gentle reminder here guys if you're yet to hit the like button please hit the like button okay it helps me know that you guys enjoyed watching and it also helps the youtube algorithm spread my videos to a wider audience all right guys so right after pulling out everywhere and my ashoke fabric looks smooth what i'm going to go ahead to do is give the fabric a good press but before i get to that i'm going to quickly run through wrapping up my headband like i said earlier i have a full tutorial where i shared how to wrap a headband neatly if you've not seen that video again i'm going to leave it on the screen scroll to the bottom of your description bar okay right on your screen you're going to see the video right there or you can also just go through the links that i put in my description and then click on the one that shows you how to wrap a headband if you're yet to hit the subscribe button please hit the subscribe button okay so you don't miss out of any one of my tutorials so like i said i'm going to show you bits and pieces of how i'm going to go about wrapping my headband but to get the full tea check out the video that i mentioned earlier on
all right guys so right after ironing my fabric this is what it looks like i also went ahead to close up the open spaces that i used to turn it inside out the next thing i'm going to do now is to do some running stitches okay those that are familiar with this channel already know how to make you know running stitches on their fabrics but for those that are new here welcome to the channel i'm going to be showing us how we can also create running stitches on our pieces of fabric if you are new i suggest that you keep yourself up to speed with everything that we've been doing on here before you joined us by clicking on the Fumibi Olawari designs playlist that way you see everything all the different designs of headbands and hair accessories that I've shared on here on the channel before you you know found me on YouTube and joined the family so feel free to check out that playlist right after watching this video but what I'm doing here is I'm creating running stitches on this piece of fabric that I sewed earlier on just to give us the ruffled up design that we are going to use to create the final result that we saw at the intro of this video so i'm just moving through the creation of my running stitches really really quickly just not to just so i don't make this video too long all right so i'm going to keep it now allow you guys watch me you know create my running stitches and then we'll continue all right guys so now that we've created the running stitches and we have gathered our fabric we just secure our thread and then the next thing we will start to do now is to turn this fabric around in circular motions okay you're trying to form like a dome type of effect on this particular piece of fabric okay um just in case everything i just said is not really clear to you okay please watch what i'm doing so i'm rolling my fabric around and as i'm rolling i'm sewing it okay i'm creating stitches that would secure my fabric in place some people might say you can glue your fabric but generally i'm not a fan of glues okay i use glues no doubt but i don't like to depend on them i use them a lot because they tend to leave your work a bit messy in my opinion so i like to do hand stitches okay I I love working with needles and threads okay so that's exactly what i'm doing here if you can't be bothered to do stitches try using glue but mm, i cannot recommend okay so yeah back to what i'm saying so i'm turning my fabric around in circular motions and i'm also sewing as i'm going along for this process i might not really you know talk too much i'll only talk when i need to explain something but more than listening to what i'm saying please watch what i'm doing and replicate it on your project and another thing that i'd like to mention at this point is just just in case you don't want to use ashoke to create this design you can totally use um regular fabric like your satin your mikado any type of fabric really you can even use what's it called now um organza fabric okay feel free to come up with you know different alternatives for yourself but the only difference is you either decide if you want to put just to make the fabric firm and stable you can choose to either use um crinoline or you use a type of interfacing so maybe on um, cloth gum or air stay or gum stay but you have to use a very strong one okay if you're using gum stay use the strong gum stay if you're using air stay use the thick air stay if you're using cloth gum as well use the strong cloth gum just so your fabric stays um firm and stable and the end result looks absolutely gorgeous you know with Asha K, you hardly ever need to use any one of these interfaces because Asha K, the texture is on a normal day it's already thick so you don't need to you know do too much for it to stay stable but just in case you're using regular fabric especially soft fabrics like all the types of fabric that i mentioned earlier chances are you are going to need to use some type of interfacing or add crinoline to your fabric i know the question might come up along the line people might be wondering if they can use regular fabric so i thought to also just answer that question real quick at this point so i hope you you guys saw everything that i did this is me now you know securing the bottom stitch that i did on this um round piece of fabric and right after doing that i went ahead to apply some glue onto my plastic headband that i've wrapped already as we can see and then i'm just going to place the design right on top of the portion where i applied glue if you've been enjoying the video so far please do well to hit the like button all right so now i'm going to just pick up my fabric place it on top of the glue that i just applied um i decided to use hot glue here feel free to use any type of glue apart from super glue okay because 
some of us, <laughs> we, uh, we are always asking if we can use super glue. No, you can't use super glue. Use either a good fabric glue or you use your hot glue, all right? And this is me just pressing it down to make sure that the design stays put on the wrapped plastic headband. But we know those that are subscribed to this channel, those that have been following this journey so far with me right from the start, you guys know that I don't depend on glue. Glue cannot be trusted, okay? So I like to go an extra step by doing hand stitches on my work right after I use glue, okay? And that's exactly what I'm doing here using my needle and thread to just create little stitches along the brim of this design just to make sure that everything looks absolutely beautiful. And this is what the end result looks like absolutely gorgeous i know <laughs> all right so the next thing we are going to do now is accessorization so accessorize you can decide whether you want to beat the body of your plastic headband i've shared tutorials on how to make beaded headbands you just incorporate everything i've taught in those tutorials into this work but for me i decided to try something new i decided to do a bit of applique application on this particular design okay so i had a little piece of applique that i got from a vendor on instagram that has been sitting for the longest time in my fabric wardrobe so i decided to whip it up and add it to this particular design so what i'm doing here is i'm using my soldering iron to just cut out pieces from this particular strip of applique the applique was about i think one yard long but i used about quarter of a yard to just um design my plastic headband and this is me just using my soldering iron to take off the net as much as possible and then right after just removing the pieces of applique that i would need for this particular work i went ahead to get my fabric glue and i used the fabric glue to apply this design onto my finished work okay the the design that i made earlier on and i also went ahead to hand make this particular beading pattern that i did here i also added it to the design and we're going to see how i'm going to be placing it on this my work okay for this portion i filmed a youtube short but i don't know do you guys want me to film to upload the short separately on the channel let me know down in the comments but yeah that's why the video is placed in a z horizontal no vertical manner this way but i tried to make it work for this particular tutorial all i'm doing here is i'm just applying Apply my UHU glue onto the applique that I trimmed out and now I'm just applying it onto my Ashoki headband that I finished. If you can't be bothered to accessorize your work, that's fine. You can stop um, at the point where you finished creating your design. But for me, people that know me know that I love accessorization. I love blings. I love appliques. I love beads, stones and all of that. So I like to incorporate those things into my designs, especially if I'm making something that I'm going to wear personally. Okay. And this headband was for myself. We had our church Thanksgiving a couple of weeks, I think two weeks ago. And I just thought to make something beautiful for myself just to celebrate God and thank God for everything that he has done <laughs> all through the course of this year, 2022. So yeah, this particular design was befitting of that you know occasion and it looks absolutely stunning if you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget again to hit the like button i'm also going to show us the finished results right after doing all of this after applying all the pieces that i made i applied this at the center and this is what the end result looks like it looks absolutely gorgeous can you see the handmade piece of um design beading pattern that i did at the center there if you want a full tutorial on how you can replicate that beading pattern let me know down in the comments and i'll be sure to share the tutorial but this is the end result guys it looks absolutely gorgeous and i really 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 loved the finished result everything just looked absolutely beautiful again if you've not subscribed to this channel now would be a good time for you to hit the subscribe button join us we are women that love making pieces on here on the channel we love beading we love making headbands we love millinery sewing and crafts in general so please become a part of us by hitting the subscribe button thank you guys again for watching this video and i can't wait to see you in another one bye bye